you know, we were there with like studies done, like sailor, like you know, this sailor was uh, exposed to radiation for four years, five years, or anything like that. Yeah, it's you know, that's the scary thing, you know, for anybody that doesn't know a lot about nuclear when you first get there, and you know, they they teach you pretty early on that it's so controlled mm -hmm. that the radiation you're getting, like, you know, I've stood right next to the top of nuclear reactor power mm -hmm. plants, control routes coming up mm -hmm. all around me, right? Mm -hmm. But like the the radiation levels there are less than an airplane flight. Okay. Like, like you know, much less. Mm -hmm. And so uh, of early on in nuclear, before we understood it, yeah, that definitely happened, right? People got higher doses, mm -hmm. and it's because we didn't understand what a dose was. So <laughs> that's a dose. Once you understood it, yeah. like, oh, we got to control this. Like, you see in the movies where they did the first nuclear uh, atomic test in, in New Mexico, yeah. and everyone's just like, like we're thin, right, they're right there, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> not good. <laughs> not like, man. But that, that's, yeah, that doesn't really happen at all. So, you know, if, even you know, I would say when it gets to the level of even being on like a, a long haul plane mm -hmm. flight, that, you know, it's considered a major problem. Okay. Right? And they control that heavily. And everybody, when you're in those spaces, you have uh, tracking systems. Mm -hmm. So it's telling you how much okay. dose you have. And if you get a lot, you can't go in there anymore. Okay. And they get a different worker going. 